Hi, uh, this video is about how to make a router symbol in the Microsoft Visio. So uh, this is the symbol that I'm going to make here. So let me start. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the page here. Okay, so I right click on this one and then I say insert page. Uh, this page I want to add as a uh, landscape type. So I will add the page here. Uh, now let I want to open another one thing here uh, to open the pan and zoom window uh, that I need so I can zoom in on the diagram here okay? and let me make 100% um, for now so the first th um, there is couple setting here um, if you want to look at the rulers and grid you can turn them on so let me just uh, turn the ruler and uh, guide on and there is a also now uh, there is a one more tool I want to snap and glue here so let me just add turn on for now ok so first thing I want to I am going to add uh, one eclipse here ok and uh, I am going to uh, resize it uh, color will be uh, this one here ok now next thing I am going to add this one rectangle here and then I also fill the same color now I want to uh, keep this one the, the um, oval shape on the front so I will say right click on it and I say ok uh, format uh, let's say uh, there is a one uh, here you can uh, shape bring to front okay, so now that will be uh, uh, see uh, it will be seen as a front side ok uh, uh, on this side I am going to ok so next thing I, I need another o another lips here so copy and paste okay, and then I that one I will s uh, shape on the back side okay. now I, do, I don't want to see this line so I will just say ok uh, no line here ok so this is the line shape here and I say no line ok so now uh, this part is completed and now let me zoom in a little bit here ok and then the next thing uh, to cover this line I will just draw one line here ok and here as well I am going to change this line color to the white later on um, ok uh, one more thing, uh, the color of this uh, side here, it will be a little bit uh, lighter and this one also lighter here ok, oh, there you go now I need to draw the four arrows so basically what router does, it takes the traffic in and uh, based on the routing table it sends the traffic on different directions that's what it shows here so router has a couple interfaces uh, that take some traffic in uh, based on the IP address it routes the traffic on different direction ok so that's what it shows here uh, now let me go back here next thing uh, I'm going to put this uh, rectangle here uh, to uh, so I can draw those arrows in correct direction I'm going to draw this one. Next thing, I will draw uh, two lines. Uh, I'm 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 going to get rid of this line later on, but this is just for time being. Okay, uh, the one arrow will go in this direction. Another uh, arrow will go here. Uh, third arrow will go on this side and fourth one on this side okay. now let me zoom a little bit more uh, so I can uh, draw the arrow here ok uh, I'm going to copy this line and uh, this two line here copy and then say ok paste here ok once I have those lines uh, let me move it a little bit. Okay. 
now I'm going to draw this arrow here before I do that uh, let me turn off snap and glue for time being otherwise it don't let me create the arrow as I want okay, so This arrow will go like this. Okay. Uh. Okay. okay, so that's how I'm going to draw the arrow, uh, and then you can fill up the color. Okay. Um, let me zoom a little bit here the reason it is not connecting right now so I cannot feel it so that's what I'm let me close for okay the reason I need to redraw it because I need to uh, fill this shape okay and uh, I'm going to start here again this one there you go so once uh, once that shapes uh, all the lines are connected you can fill out fill out the shape okay so I just needed this shape to fill with the white color here and no line okay so okay, there you go so now let me view that tool again uh, pen and zoom window let me zoom out a little bit here okay, and now I can just drag and drop that shape and now I can resize that arrow shape here okay. Okay. Uh, let me just ok there you go now once I remove this one it's clear to see here so this way I'm going to draw the same arrow on this side uh, this side and that side so uh, since I already have drawn that arrow so I'm going to get rid of this one and I just copy and paste from the the drawing I already completed ok so ok so I need this arrow 2, 3 and 4 okay. copy and then I just okay, paste here and then I can resize it according to Now to just give some depth to this arrow, so what I have done is uh, I'm going to draw a few lines here. So I'm going to draw this line and make it a little bit thicker. Same thing I will do here as well. Okay. So, so this gives some perception that it is there is some depth inside. Okay. This one and here as well. one more here okay, and that's pretty much uh, now I don't need this one so now I'm going to clean up my drawing here okay, I will zoom out to let's say 250% I don't need this line here I don't need okay, I don't need all this thing I say Okay, I don't need this line, nor that line. I can select, I can hold the shift key and I can select the multiple line at one time. Okay, there you go. And now uh, that's pretty much uh, the router symbol shape is completed. Now what you can do, uh, I can um, make them group here, shape and group. 
okay and now I can use this symbol on my different network diagrams okay so uh, hopefully you like this video uh, if you like it subscribe to my channel thanks for watching okay bye